Which is what it is. It's, it's, yeah, it's in the email address. Yeah. So in the same manner, when three gets sended, uh, sorry, three gets uh, sended by the sender. So let's say this gets you know lost somewhere. Okay, it has been lost. So it will never reach to the receiver. So this is going to be a gap. Okay, so this is a receiver gap that I was talking about. Then the four has been sended. So four comes to here, no problem, done. And the same acknowledgement is being given to the sender. So here I have acknowledgement one, acknowledgement two, acknowledgement four. But where is the acknowledgement three? There is missing acknowledgement three, missing ACK of three. That way sender will get to know, yes, there is a problem that my third data not received to the receiver so let me retransmit that third packet okay it's a simple thing so it's going to be retransmit to the sender i hope now you're getting it right so in this in this way the uh, sender will get to know about the things about the missing packet okay so now, uh, sir, what will happen if uh, if sender finds this gap, right? Sender now notices, sorry, sender now have this uh, drop packet. Will he retransmit the packet? No, he is not going to retransmit it. Because at that particular instant of type, if he retransmit the packet, the situation is going to be worse. Because retransmitting the missing packet on a full sending rate will increase the congestion only. Okay, so retransmission is not a good option here at that time because after four there might be a chance of having a data like six seven eight nine ten likewise right at that particular instant of time retransmission is not good so retransmission is not a good idea on a high speed okay when you can retransmit when all data gets you know received to the receiver and uh, uh, and then uh, there is acknowledgement of everything and then you can retransmit it. Uh, that would be a good idea. But in between, if you re retransmitting, then it is going to be a very, you know, again, going to be packed loss. Why it is going to be packed loss? It's a simple thing. You see. So if I have a packet one, two, three and four, and here it is going to be like received. So this is going to be one received. So this is a data plus acknowledgement no problem okay so i'm making a piggy bank backing here so in the same packet i'm making a data and the acknowledgement no problem i'm getting now second is also being uh, you know received third is not received so it's it's a packet lost now fourth is being received there is a dash here and fourth gets received and acknowledge no problem so now there might be a chance that there is a data like five six seven eight nine it is going on on and on so it's coming and coming and coming right so in between if you are retransmitting so there is a problem Again, going to be there is a confusion, right? In the confusion in the packet stream, so receiver will never understand that what is the data is all about. So it's not a good idea. Until and unless you complete the whole packet stream of sender, this is a stoppage, you know, criteria. Once this get completed, you send the third data that you lost somehow. This is a good idea, right? Then you can retransmit, no problem. It's a good thing, but in between you cannot do it. Okay, so retransmission is not a good idea. Sir, is there any other solution apart from retransmission? Yes, there is one solution. You can go ahead with something called as UDP. Instead of TCP, UDP you can apply, right? But then there is again a problem. You think of UDP. Now, at the, see, again, I'm going to explain the pain. So let's say UDP is in between now. Instead of TCP, we implement UDP in the, uh, in the internet. So what will happen? one person will apply the udp okay tomorrow second person will come and use a udp third person will come udp so eventually these all people who had established udp or started udp they have a good speed okay good speed initially but however after a certain amount of time all people these all people all people around the world are going to use udp Okay, all people are using UDP. When all people are using UDP, then there is a problem called as reliability because there is no connection oriented thing. Reliability and there is going to be slow speed again. So if there is a slow speed gradually, then, then it again leads to something called as congestion. So this is not a good idea also. So you're getting it. Eventually all people are going to UDP, then there is no TCP at all then, right? So then again, slow speed comes and congestion again will come. So 
UDP is gradually it is not going to be a good idea, right? So UDP after a certain amount of time, after a certain amount of time, not good, right? So this is the thing uh, about congestion control. So if you like it, please hit the like button. And if you are new to my channel, I insist you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. If you have any doubt, you can please uh, chat me in the chat box. Uh, I will, uh, I'll happy to help you. Thank you so much, guys.